Planets, stars, and galaxies. How do we know so much about them? Light. But what is light? A particle? A wave? Well, science says both. The wave-particle duality of light shows increase in light's wavelength, decrease its energy, and vice versa. Using spectroscopy, we can split light into different wavelengths, producing the visible light spectrum. But if water is added between the light and the prism, the spectrum produced no longer contains all the colours. This creates a line spectra where the black lines indicate the light absorbed by the water molecules. Every element has a unique spectrum, similar to how every human has a unique DNA pattern. Atoms absorb and emit light due to electron excitation. Imagine an atom's energy levels as stairs, where the ground is the nucleus and the elastic band is the electromagnetic force. The higher the electron, the more energy it has. But to climb up, an electron must become excited, which occurs when it absorbs energy from light. However, the higher the electron, the more the electromagnetic force pulls the electron towards the nucleus. This causes de-excitation, where the electron loses energy by going down an energy level, releasing light in the process. And since electrons cannot exist between two steps, the light has a very specific wavelength. But remember, the number of electrons and the pull of the electromagnetic charge varies between different elements, which is why some elements can absorb certain wavelengths of light, while others can't. By analysing light from stars and galaxies, scientists can identify the elements present in celestial bodies, revealing their mass, speed and distance from Earth. Planets can also be illuminated by stars, and the non-absorbed light travels through space, reaching a space telescope like the JWST, where it is focused into a spectrograph. This is also how scientists are searching for extraterrestrial life, by trying to identify exoplanet atmospheres which contain water vapour and methane, biosignatures of life. And that's how light illuminates the universe for us.